Ready to do some more? Let's go. Oh, interesting. Hey, check this out. It's not equal to V anymore. I actually gave it to you. This is 3 to the power of 4 equals to X. All you have to do now is just evaluate it. 3 to the power of 4, well, that's easy. That's 81. <laughs> There's your answer. That's not so bad. Take a look at this one. Same thing goes with this. This is 1 half to the power of negative 3. Well, you know and I know that whenever you see a negative, you got to flip it. So this is 2 to the 3. Oh, that's easy. 2 to the 3 is 8. These are just, this is fun. Great. Let's go. Well, hey, wait a second. There's no base there. Oh, wait a second. I know. It's a common logarithm. Always remember, that's the base of 10. Okay, here we go. Well, check this out. This is 10 to the exponent of 2 thirds equals to, so, oh, goodness gracious. I, I don't know what that equals to, but I do know I'm dealing with an inverse of a log, right? So watch this. Inverse of the log, there's the 10 to the exponent. Oh, well, it's, what's my exponent? 2 thirds. So if I want, I can use that wonderful fraction button and put in 2 thirds. There it is. Cool. Enter. Yeesh. 4.64. <laughs> okay, sure. Why not? 4.64. Obviously, this is going to be an ugly number. But think about what this means. If you think about 10 to the 2 thirds, think of this as flower power. There's the power, right? Because that's the flower. There's the root. So you're squaring 10 to give me 100. And now you're cube rooting it to give me just something over 4. Huh, okay, I can do that. I can live with that. Now, look at this one. How the heck do you solve that? Well, you know and I know you got to do brackets first. So, but you look inside the brackets, there's really nothing can, you can do there. Okay, so let's go outside the brackets and take a look at that. Because after all, logs are inverses. So maybe you should do what's not inside out. Maybe go outside in. Oh, okay. Well, look what happens if you do. Isn't that cool? 2 to the power of 3 is 8. So guess what? You just got rid of this. And told me that log 2x minus 7 now equals to 8. Oh, do it again. 2 to the 8 now. Oh, 2 to the 8 has to equal to x minus 7. Geez, uh, what is uh, 2 to the 8? I have no idea. Okay, let's go to our calculator. 2 hat 8. Oh, 256. Okay, so that equals to 256 equals to x minus 7. Oh, add 7 to both sides. Gone. x works out to be 263. Well, that's fun. Ah, wait till the next podcast. We'll do some more.